guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are doing a gel x nail pack from the dollar tree baby i don't even know how to tell y'all like these hacks are kind of amazing so i found this hack on youtube i will try to link in the video that i actually found and try to give props where props is due but I've seen the hack a whole bunch of times. But I will see, show you guys in the link down below the one that I actually seen. With that hack, um, I actually just seen her use nail glue and stuff like that, or like use her own stuff. But we actually went to the Dollar Tree, and these are the nail tips that I used in my short video um, a couple of weeks ago. The nail lamp is also from. The Dollar Tree as well. This is a really good lamp. Lamp I've used it a hundred times and it's still rocking and kicking with me. Um, I'm gonna do like a ombre kind of glitter nail. So I got some glitters, of course. If you guys seen my last nail haul from the Dollar Tree, then you guys know favorite nail file. This is what we'll be using. But the one thing that I did not get from the Dollar Tree is this. If you guys watched a few of my other videos, then you guys know that this product right here, you can get it from Walgreens. I don't know if you can still get it because this is probably, I would say about a year old, two years old. We don't try it though, because it says 12 months. Let's look open. Don't use it again. But baby, who listens to that? Who listens to that? Now watch my nails fall off for me not listening to, to the packaging. But it's okay. We're going to roll with it. We're going to rock with it because I'm trying to do this for y'all. Okay? <laughs> We're doing this nail hack for y'all. But if you can't find this one and you can actually order one, I recommend ordering one. You can go with um, Model 1, IBD. They have so many of them that are just like super, super cheap. I was feeding my sourdough. If y'all don't know, I have a vlog channel where um, me and my husband do everything homestead, everything homestead related. And yeah, I will leave that vlog channel down below if you want to check out my life on a whole nother level. <laughs> and y'all want to be in my business. You can check that video. But, um... That's why I have overalls on y'all. Cause we were just outside. I'm sorry, I'm a little babbling, but I wanna hang out with y'all for a minute. I was, we was just outside and um, while well, I was just outside and the goats and stuff, you need to have overalls when you got goats. Cause baby, them goats be climbing like if I'm a tree. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta have overalls. But I recommend getting it off of Amazon if you can't find it at the store. Now you can find it at Walgreens, be my guest and pick it up because it is a bomb. I've had it for a couple of years. I've used it. I've used it to apply stones. It's just like the McCart. Just like the McCart rhinestone glue. It is really good. And today, we are going to use it for gel -X nails. So I can do gel -X for under... I want to try to do gel -X for under like... I would say $20. And 15 Under 15 Let's see. 15 because... All of this stuff right here is like $5 and this right here is like eight, 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 I believe. I don't know if I got it on sale. I probably got it on sale because y'all know I like to shop on sale. So I probably did. But we're not going to add that price. We're going to do the full price. Um, I don't know if you can find it online as well. But I know I did find this one at Walgreens many years ago. So it's, I think it's like 2021. I think that's what it's showing right here. I don't know. But so that was many years ago. And we're going to use it again. Either way, there's cheaper ones on Amazon. So I would just suggest going on Amazon and buying that and just buying everything else from the Dollar Tree if you need to. So you don't have to but we are going to use this as a base and we are also going to use this as a, like to coat the actual nails and also put the glitter in and stuff. So let's get into the video because I'm really excited. guys this is what we're working with let's go in i'm going to go in with the dollar tree um artificial nails these are ladybird nails let's see how thick they are which i already know because i did my nails the other day with these but 
y'all baby they thick like they thick let's see Also, if you guys don't know, I do these hacks a lot, so I use peel-off base coats, which is why you probably see that it's shiny. But a lot of you guys asked about the peel-off base coat, and this is the one that I use. I've been using this for years. I mean, it goes really fast. I've had this bottle probably for a year now, but it is the bomb for if you want to do videos and take off your nails and put them back on. Definitely recommend this. This is what I always use. Um, I do not use this when I am actually testing out the hack because I want to make sure that the hack actually works But when I'm not testing out the hack that I know that it works. I This is my go-to. This is where I go. I go running to this girl right here always turn this off too because it'll waste the batteries because you got to keep your hand underneath there for a little minute like five minutes because um, it's not like a regular nail lamp you have to keep it under there for a few minutes it even says it on the packaging and I'm sure like a lot of you guys have asked me as well like oh why does yours work but mine does not and it's because I keep my hand underneath there probably like five minutes when it's a cheaper version of stuff you guys y'all gotta understand that because it's cheaper, it's gonna work a little differently. So if you have a regular nail lamp, then of course that's gonna work a lot better, but this ain't no regular nail lamp. <laughs> this is like real deal. All right, you guys, so let's get into this hack. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just put a layer of this gel on the nails. Now I'm just moving one cap to the other because I'm going to be working with glitter so I don't want this whole thing to get filled up with glitter. But I'm going to go with a thin layer and then go and start putting my glitter in the way that I want it to be. And then I'm just going to put it in the dryer for like 10 minutes literally. I don't know what was going on with <laughs> this nail dryer today. It was just not working in my favor. So I was just having a little bit of difficulties with the drying, but it ended up drying really, really good. But I did have to leave it in there for a little while. I think I need new batteries just so that way it can strengthen the wattage. But they <laughs> they came out really nice. I just don't like the struggle that I went through with the nail lamp. Other than that, I think that the hack could work. And I also have to figure out if it's just this gel that um, leaves bubbles or if it's the light. I don't know what it is, but I guess we will see and you'll hear me throughout the video talking about it. Only thing that I will say about this is that it does tend to get bubbles. If I had a recommendation for you guys, I would definitely just go with the baking soda 
because this right here is just something that you might not want to play with because since it has bubbles and that was happening to me even on the other set that I did and I just wanted to make sure if that's what it was but it does curate bubbles and I don't know even when I did it without the peel off base coat it still bubbled up for me and I'm not one to say that I know everything about um gel x but i do know that when i used to do gel x professionally it would not bubble up like that and have bubbles in here because you don't want no air bubbles because it will lift and then it will just cause it to to break off so i don't recommend this hack too much but we're just gonna keep going we're gonna we're just gonna keep going we're gonna push it through and we're gonna show y'all kind of like what's going on but i'm gonna file this one right here because this one actually does not fit like the side of my nail too good. holding it like this but i will say i don't know if it's maybe the lamp that is causing the bubbling or what it could be but i really do not recommend that so i might not this hack might not be too good or i just gotta keep perfecting it and seeing how it will work it's fun like Jackie Brown. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I wanna know if she too down. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract get no baby. In the meantime, in some meantime. Now that this one is dry and it is completely dry as you can tell, I'm just gonna go in with some of this and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna put it on my nail. I'm gonna take this finger, or try and take this finger, and put it underneath the nail. And once it starts drying, I'll let it go and then let it cure correctly. This was actually worse than what I thought. When I had did it the other day, it was a little bit easier, but I don't know. It just seems like it's, I don't know if I got to change the batteries in here, but I had to keep my nail under there, under there for like 10 minutes. And that lamp normally does not do that. I could leave it under there like five and it drives completely. So I think it's just I have to change the batteries or something. But I just want to show y'all that there is air bubbles in here. So you definitely just got to be really careful when it comes to that. And the glitter ones came out good. I have a little bit of spillage from this right here. But we're going to go in and we're going to decorate them. And I'm probably going to paint them, put a top coat, and we're going to call it a day. Because I'm not a huge fan of this hack. If anybody else likes the hack, definitely let me know. But this is one that I would not choose. I would rather gravitate towards more the baking soda and the nails because it's a lot harder consistency and these just don't seem like they would last. I had them on the other day for like three days, but they were a little flimsy. I thought that maybe it was just that, but I don't know. These aren't these aren't on the top of my list. They're not my favorite, but we tried a new hack and we wanted to see if it works. And it's okay. I'm gonna go in now and just shape up the nails to my liking. Just 
just gonna go in with this color right here. I'm just gonna paint them really quick. doing your nails at home here's one thing that i recommend a cleaning brush any cleaning brush it can be a brush for eyelashes eyeshadow, eyeshadow any of that take some of this and get a bottle of acetone from the dollar tree as well i mean you're investing money so you might as well invest in some acetone because you gotta take them all and all i do is clean up my cuticles it just makes it look a lot more cleaner. It's like I tried a little bit.